Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Pisces. We're going to look at what are you manifesting. So these messages are general, they're not going to resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So I'm going to jump right into this reading and we're going to see what messages Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what is Pisces currently manifesting? What changes are they manifesting in their life? Okay, I have new beginnings, I have fertility, so let's get some more messages, Okay, I have prosperity begins and let's get one more message. Okay, I have the sacral chakra. Okay, so some of you are manifesting a pregnancy. I heard like children. So yes, some of you are manifesting a pregnancy conception. I heard like first time some of you are becoming or will be becoming first time parents. Um, for others of you, like you're manifesting growth. This could be in terms of like a business, some type of project or creative endeavor that you're working on. But yes, yeah, a new beginning, a new cycle is getting ready to take place in your life, Pisces. So let's clarify the messages. So Spirit, tell me about new beginnings. Yeah, and I'm like some of you are going to be adding to your family. I heard like three children. You may desire three children. My spirit says you will be having three children. Yeah, spirit says conception. I heard like a large family. So someone wants a large family. I heard like you come from a big family. So that's why you want a large family. I have take charge and action, new beginnings. Yes, this is you taking hold of your life. It's like, you know, if you want a new beginning, you want a new cycle, you have to take action. It requires you to do work, especially those of you um, that are manifesting some type of project or creative endeavor. I heard like a business. I heard like a clothing business or clothing line. I also heard like a shoe business. I heard hair care. I heard makeup. I also heard modeling. I heard dentistry. So for some of you, you may be going to school to be a dentist or um, working in the dental field. For someone, you may want your own dentist business or you want to own your own property, being a dentist. I also heard like lawyer and doctor. So some of you are going to school to be a lawyer and doctor or a doctor. I heard hygienist, hygienist, if I said that correctly. Yeah, there's a lot of different fields that people are going into, a lot of different businesses that people are trying to manifest. I heard like abundance. So for some of you, abundance, you have abundance coming in. Your business will be successful. I heard like college courses. So some of you may be worried about passing your college courses. Spirit says you will pass. You will graduate. You will get your degree. 
someone is going to school um, for a doctoral degree. I heard like financial aid, loans. You may be worried about how you're going to pay for it. Spirit says like the way is already made. Also her business, someone is going to school for a business degree. Yeah, her entrepreneur. So I do have a lot of entrepreneurs. A lot of people that want to be business owners or that are currently business owners. I heard like belly beads or waist beads. So someone is into that. You want to do a business? Making waist beads. Yeah, but there's a lot of new beginnings, especially when it comes to um, your career, going to school, finishing school, starting school. It's just a lot of changes that are going to be taking place, Pisces. A lot of great and amazing changes for you that's going to bring in your Nine of Pentacles, your wish fulfillment, abundance. Let's get a message for fertility. Yeah, I see you like taking action. For some of you, like you're studying a lot. For others of you, you're trying to get to the next level in your career. I heard like boss, supervisor. You will be placed in a supervisory role. Okay, I have healing energy. For some of you, like whatever issue, issues that you've been having when it comes to your fertility, spirit is going to heal those issues. You may be seeing some type of specialist, but your body will be healed. You will be able to be fruitful. That is what I'm getting for some of you. Like whatever medical issues that you're having, it will be healed. You will be able to produce or reproduce. For others of you, I'm getting like there's just general medical concerns that you're having. And spirit is going to heal you. I go to sacral chakra. Okay, someone is having issues with their stomach, with their intestines. Spirit is saying like um, whatever issues you're having. I heard like surgery. You may have to go into surgery. But Spirit says like you're going to be healed. I'm also getting like a heart condition for someone. I heard like a pacemaker. Someone may have, have a pacemaker. But there's going to be a lot of healing taking place within the body. For your sign, Pisces. I heard like unknown. So I feel like this healing that's going to be taking place. Like the doctors are going to be mystified. Like they're not going to even understand how you were healed. I heard like study. They may actually want to do a study on you. Let's get a message for Prosperity Begins. So, yeah, some of you are manifesting a career, finishing school, a new path when it comes to your career. Others of you are manifesting healing, children. I have listened deeply. Prosperity begins. Spirit says, like, trust your intuition. Trust divine guidance. You have a lot of angelic protection around you, Pisces. So it's like, trust yourself. I heard like unknown. You may feel like you're going into unknown territory. But Spirit wants you to trust yourself because it's like whatever it is that you're trying to create for your life is going to happen. You are going to be fruitful. You are going to be successful. But you just have to trust yourself. Trust your inner knowing. Let's get a message for sacral chakra.
Okay. I have inner child healing. Some of you are going to be connecting with your mom. You may be developing a closer relationship with your mother. You may have had issues with your mom in the past. She may have not been able um, to be there for you the way that you wanted her to. I heard like for some of you, your mother didn't raise you. You were raised by, I heard like your grandparents or um, another family member. I also heard like foster care for someone. But I feel like what you're manifesting is a closer relationship with your mom, healing your connection with your mother and also healing childhood issues. For some of you, you may be going to counseling. So let's pull some more messages. Spirit, tell me more about take charge and action. Okay, I have the Daughter of Earth, which is the Page of Pentacles. Yes. Branching off into a new direction, moving towards success. For some of you, you are starting like a new project. Snoop Dogg song. I can't think of the name of the song. My Mind on My Money and My Money on My Mind. By Snoop Dogg. That's what just came to me. So yes, you are focused on your pentacles. Your mind is on your money and your money is on your mind. So it's like whether you're going to school, whether you're starting a new business, it's all about the money. Like you want to be successful. You want to build a very stable life for yourself. I also heard like living this lifestyle. I forgot who sings that song. But yes, it's like you want to live a good lifestyle. You want to level up. Let's get a message for healing energy. I have the seven of earth, which is the seven of pentacles. I just heard like put work into. I feel like some of you have been really working hard when it comes to healing whatever ailments that you have, whether it's difficulty with giving birth or conception or whether it's difficulty um with your intestines any type of stomach issues any type of heart issues i feel like you've been putting the work in like spirit says like you've been dieting eating healthy exercising i feel like you have been going through a lifestyle change and if you haven't done so this is something that you are manifesting a lifestyle change um i heard like plant-based some of you are going to be um, having a plant-based diet but yeah I just see you being healthier and I just see you putting the work in so that you can be healthy so that you can heal you know whatever ailments you have I heard holistic so some of you may also be taking a more holistic approach to your diet or to conception I have the four of air, which is the four of wands. Yes. Rest easy. <laughs> You're going to be able to rest easy. Just listen to your inner knowing. Listen to yourself. Like you are going to be successful. You are going to have prosperity. Spirit is going to give you what you want. Whether it's a new career. Whether it's your project, business taking off for some of you. I heard a relationship, you're manifesting a new relationship, a divine connection, you're manifesting children, you're manifesting, you know, physical healing for some of you, emotional healing. It's like it's coming. It's yours. You're going to rest easy. You're not going to have to worry. You're going to be at peace. You're going to be at peace with yourself, at peace with your choices, your decisions. And then for inner child healing, I have strength. So yes. For some of you, I heard like courage. Like it is going to take you or it is taking you a lot of courage to heal these childhood issues. To reconnect with your mom. To fix your relationship with your parent. But I heard strong. My spirit says, but you are strong. You have overcome so much in life. 
Spirit says like your strength works for you. It works for you. You can never be too strong. Spirit says you can never be too strong. It's not about being strong. It's all about how you use the strength that you have. And it's like you're using it for your highest good. You're using your strength towards something positive, even though it's difficult, even though it's challenging, even though at times you don't want to do it, you don't want to deal with those issues. Sometimes you may not want to reconnect or speak to your mom, but you do it anyway. Spirit says free because you want to set yourself free from those issues. You want to forgive. You want to let go so that you can finally move on. I heard like your children's children, like you want to be a good parent for your children or for your child. And you know that a part of that is healing the relationships or relationship with your own parent or your mother. You have to heal yourself first. So let's pull some more messages. I have the Six of Pentacles. With the Six of Pentacles, I just see you opening up. I see you opening up. For those of you where you're healing a relationship with your mom or with a parent, you're opening up. You're opening yourself up to give. To give to this relationship. To give to this connection. And I heard like it's been a long time coming. Some of you have been estranged from your mom. Or exchange from a parent or caregiver. I have the chariots. I have the Knight of Swords, the Lovers in the Reverse, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so you're moving full speed ahead. Like you are moving forward. I heard I've got my mind made up. So yes, you are moving forward. Whatever it is that you're doing with your life, whether it's about relationships, whether it's about your career, whether it's about school, you're moving forward. You're not being stagnant. You realize that your growth, your abundance is attached to your actions. And it's like you're taking the necessary actions to have what you want, Pisces. You're not being stagnant. You know ain't nobody going to give it to you, so you got to go out there and get it. You have to do what's best for you. So this is you making up your mind and saying, hey, I got the, I have to get it. I have to move forward. I have to put work into this. I can't sit on the sidelines and just let life pass me by. I have to take hold of the life that God, that spirit has given me. And I have to do something with it. Knight of Swords, the lovers in the reverse. Some of you, you're going to be cutting off a relationship. You're going to be cutting off a relationship. And I'm getting with this Eight of Wands. Some of you may break up with this person through text message. That's what I'm getting. Like you may actually communicate through a text message that you no longer want to be with this person. And it's going to come through quick too. But it's like you're letting go. You're freeing yourself. You're moving on. Spirit says like you feel like this person doesn't align with you. They don't align with who you want to be or where you're going in life. For some of you, you're just too focused on some type of project, um, school, 
your business to really invest into a connection. But yes, I do see someone communicating through text message that you no longer want to be in a connection. So let's pull some final messages. Okay. So I have that. It says, take care. Enemies are working against you. So yes, you have some people around you who don't want to see you do good. They don't want to see you finish school. They don't want to see you start that business. Yes. 3LW song, haters are going to hate. So yes, there's always going to be haters. Pisces. So you might as well give them something to hate on. The next message is horse. Short journey. I'm just going back to this relationship. Like some of you are getting ready to cut this person off. You haven't been with them for a long time either. But it's like the road stops here. And again, I heard text message. Like you're going to let this person know you don't want to be with them through a text message. Or the roles could be reversed. This person may be letting you know that they don't want to be in a relationship through a text. I have May. For a lot of you, whatever you're working on, whatever project or creative endeavor you're working on, um, that is when you're going to finally start to see things take off for you in the month of May. I'm also getting that for others of you, you may be finishing school, finishing college in the month of May. Graduating, yes. I have bridge successfully overcoming a problem. So I have two messages. So the first message is whatever challenges, difficulties that you face, you will be able to overcome them, especially issue, issues when it comes to your health. Also her finances. So for some of you, you may experience some financial setbacks and spirit says you will be able to overcome those challenges. People, spirit says I will put people in place for you. So yes, you're going to have people around you who will help you during this financial challenge. I'm also getting with Bridge that some of you are going to be overcoming issues when it comes to your parent or your mother. You're going to be healing those issues and finally be able to move on. I have January. I heard Mary. Somebody's getting married in January or you may be planning a wedding starting in the month of January. But yeah, someone's getting married. In the month of January. You may be currently planning your wedding. I'm also getting like new projects. Someone may start a new project in the month of January. Also her pregnancy. Someone may be finding out that they're pregnant. Or maybe giving birth in the month of January. There is something happening January 4th, 5th, and 6th of next year 2022 for someone so something very significant is happening january 4th 5th and 6th i heard vacation so someone may be planning a vacation for those days but there's something very significant that's going to be taking place so pisces these are your messages i hope they resonate remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself grow with me as i grow with you stay blessed